Hello, my man, giving our praise on the Abashima, Sambashima, Kuala Kodash, the bonus on the apostles of Great Millstone. And our honor, she brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. The Baba, everybody, are coming out here to give you this truth for the grace and mercy of your heart, Abashima, Shai, Bashima, Kuala Kodash, giving our praise on the Abashima, Sambashima, Kuala Kodash. This is going to be a relatively quick video. Um, I wanted to do a quick video, and I didn't really know how to, what I wanted to, what topic I wanted to use. And I thought, you know, I was flicking through some videos and posts that brothers had posted. I came across a handful of handful of songs, handful of tunes, good vibration music from a particular brother that he had uh, put together. And you know, the music lifted up, lifted up uh, my spirit, and it got me to thinking. Well, let me just do a quick video about some of the tools that I use. To, um, to lift my spirits up because certainly music can be viewed as a tool okay music can be viewed viewed under the guise of a tool that you could use to manage manage your thoughts and manage your um manage your expectations all right manage your um your experience okay of this world okay and manage help you manage excuse me help you manage your mind to the end that you can make it towards the end. Of which I must need say this. The highest form of music we understand is this truth. And the proof of that is that the scripture says, Sing unto the Lord a new song. Okay? Another scripture says, We've piped unto you, but you haven't danced. Right? Because this is the this is the highest vibration of music. Right? You got you know, you got your derivative forms of music, the R and B, the hip hop, and then you go into the jazz, which is a a more pure form of music and you go into the classical music that's even more pure and so forth and so on and so forth and so on until you get to you know into the truth which is the highest form of vibration upon the earth and what you find is you know music resonates with people on a different on a different level a, 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 a frequency of music or a song that you might like another brother he, he might not like because it's going to resonate with his spirit a little bit differently and we see with the elect of the heavenly father, Yahweh Hashem, outside the truth resonates with them. Doth not the scripture says, mark, set a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And also too, within the book of Second Ezra, the scripture says, seek out glory for such as be likened unto thee. Meaning to say that it was going to be a, a few good men that the most high pre-selected, pre-ordained from the foundations of the earth to have a resonant frequency with the truth. They was gonna hear the word of the heavenly father Yah Bashima Shah and it's gonna jive with their it was gonna jive with their spirit to the end that it was gonna go out there and prophecy to the wind if it must needs be, but the, the vibration was gonna go out there throughout the four corners of the earth. And that's that's the most important thing that the vibration goes out there throughout the four corners of the earth. So let's go back into the topic of the video. Okay, mind management and music management. Well, we all know if we're gonna get a nice good pump. And a nice good workout in a gym. This particular music that you use in order to achieve that pump, in order to achieve that particular activity, right? You put on some tunes and you get into the zone. You watch the boxers, they come out ready to go into the ring and they got particular music that they play to get them into their zone. Okay, well, let's explore this on two levels. Say you're feeling down and out, okay, through. Well, there's going to be music that's going to make you feel worse. And there's going to be music that's going to make you feel better. Right? Now, ultimately, what you want to really be doing when you're feeling through is you really want to be listening to the to the truth. Because as I found on, on a plethora of different occasions, let's say you're through, you know, you're thinking about your situation, of which we've seen great men that wrote scriptures and they've wrote scriptures and they was through. You read the scripture, you, 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 you read the scripture, you see that, this particular individual in this instance, they wasn't, they wasn't, they wasn't in a so-called, um, they wasn't, they wasn't in the best position. Okay. So they sang unto the Lord. And that's, that's really like the highest form of vibration where you sing unto the Lord in that time of persecution, you get into the scriptures, but you can listen to other music too. All right. You know, classical music that's going to rewire the brain and make you think about things in a, a more optimistic type of a way, which the apostles last week. I believe it was Apostle Apostle Rakar. He said, "Look, when when that when that when that when that doubt comes into your mind, that's a demon. 
Okay, when that doubt comes into your mind, that's a demon. It must needs be squashed immediately. We see Yahweh Shai when he was presented by Satan himself, or Satan presented himself unto Yahweh Shai. What did Yahweh Shai do? He cut him up with the scriptures. How does that relate to the video? Well, we see with good mind management, which when we get these demons into our mind, all you got to do is mind, manage your mind, which the highest form of managing your mind is the scriptures, where the demons present, the demons, or rather more, the demons and the angels present particular things within your mind, and you got to select the path, which is what you're going to follow down. And that's why the scripture says within the book of Ecclesiastes, the second, the second, second verse, it says, it says what? It says when, when you're presented with a situation that's, that's weighty, you don't make haste. You go through the situation, okay? And you hope to come out the other end. And this is where a higher form of thinking and a higher form of mind management is necessary, which again, like I said, I got to stress that point. It's ain't about listening to um, Mozart and that's how you're going to get into the kingdom. <laughs> that's, that's, that ain't really it. The highest form of vibration is this is this word that we're listening to that's the highest form okay when you're when you're going through situations and you really want to manage your mind you manage your mind and your thoughts through through this um through this word but let's say you was in a situation where you couldn't do that let's say you was in a situation where you maybe you've watched three four hours of videos right for that particular day you kind of want to just chill out there's, there's, there's things that you do there's, there's songs that you could play vibrations that you can put into your mind that's going to help you out through that situation and and vice versa this music let's say you let's say you you know your uncle just passed or whatever or you know something something's happened that's thrown you off um throw you from your frame there's there's music that you could put on that's gonna like you put that two-pack on man you're gonna be you're gonna want to kill yourself when you put that two-pack on man <laughs> all right they, and, and hopefully this you know i'm driving that particular point home there's things that you could do to help yourself out in the situations that we found ourselves in which the highest form of mental mind management is gonna be the truth so let's just listen to this let's just read this excerpt right quick i said the power of music here and i've already been into this a few times before you know playing hey, there's 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 people that have lost their ability to walk and they play the instrument and it really helped them to get back on their feet quite literally okay no pun intended so the power of music you know is it's something i'm already aware about or, or, or you know keenly aware of okay i believe and it was my uncle's belief who, who raised me up. I believe every every child's supposed to have an instrument. And that really helps with, you know, brain development. It really helps with brain development. There's a reason why the most I put, put, put these things out there for us to make. You know, it's entertaining, but there's always a deeper meaning to, to the reasons why the most I does particular things, man. Right? There's, there's healing that comes from music. There's healing comes from food. Healing comes from music. But you could do it any other way. Same thing, like you're feeling down, you're feeling through. And you go out there and you get the... The worst type of a food, obviously, that's not going to make your situation better. That's going to make your situation worse. The same thing with music. Yeah, you go through the period where you go through the morning, but you know, I go through situations where I'm like, all right, let me listen to like four or five tracks of the morning music. But after the four or five tracks of the morning music, I'm going to listen to a piece of jazz, okay, or slow jam or whatever, and I work my way up to a nice, funky piece of jazz. That's what I, I try to do. And what that trains my mind to do is to think in a way like, all right, you're going to feel how you feel, but really this ain't it, okay? There's something that's going to come after that, which is the hope of the kingdom of the heavenly father, Yahweh, as you Because So there's power to these things, man. It says they, it has the power to transport us back in time, okay? That's, you know, that's one understanding. We know that, right? But check this out. To calm your worried thoughts, which worry is like a demon, man. Really, that's, that's I mean, it's a good thing I I, I clicked this, or I, I chose this particular excerpt because it lines up with everything I've just said so far. Okay, you get worried about particular things. You listen to the right type of vib vibration; it's gonna it's gonna make it good. Okay, it's gonna make it to where you can manage your mind better. But if you listen to the wrong vibration, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make yourself worse. Okay, you can boost your mood, right? There's really a song for every emotion, right? Science even backed these benef the benefits of music. Research findings have just demonstrated that music supports our physical, mental, and emotional health. So. It's into the right track to get into the right type of a zone of which the ultimate right track, the ultimate song, is going to be this truth. Over that self edification, without myself, praise and fear about you, my about you, my the bonus, and the apostles, a great millstone. Honestly, brothers, we pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.